On this episode of South Hawk Computing, do you have an older AVIX system that's either an F series or early X series, and you can't find any map updates for it? We'll show you how to find and install newer maps on your unit, and that's coming up next. Warning, the following video is performed by a trained professional. It is meant for educational purposes only. Please do not attempt to try anything you see here. Enjoy. Hey YouTube, Dan from South Hall Computing and today we're going to go over on how to get a map update when Pioneer no longer offers them. If you go to their website for these particular AVIC units, again I'll put the list up on the screen, the X10, the F900 and 700 and all that fun stuff. The only map update that they provide is from 2010. Now as we film this, it's 2015, and obviously I want better maps for my head unit here. So we're going to go over what to look for and how to install it. Now a couple of requirements here. Requirement number one, you should definitely back up your AVIC unit before trying anything. It's very easy to brick these units and cause a boot loop. If you don't know how to back up your unit, I'm going to put a little link to send you to our previous video showing you on how to back up your unit. The second requirement is you have to have a third party mod installed and if you don't know how to install a third party mod there's a bunch of them but we did one in particular. Click on my whoa, click on my angry wallet to find out more information on how to install that mod. Okay, so what do we need to get this process started? Well, first off, the requirements for this is your AVIC unit has to have firmware 3 or higher for this to work. Once you have confirmed that, step 1, you need to do a Google search for IGO R3 Navtech 2014 maps and purchase them and download them to your computer. Step 2, you need to prepare an SD card with the test mode version 2.3 RAR and that can be acquired from the AVIC forums. If you're not sure where that is, just do a quick Google search on that particular file name and it will get you right to that file. Now, as you can see, on our SD card, we have the test mode 2.3 right here. Step 3, once you have downloaded the updated maps onto your computer, you need to copy over the updated maps for your states. Now, a little warning here, you can't just update all the maps on your head unit. There's just simply not enough room to do this. So, what you need to do is choose what particular states you want to update. Now, the maps themselves have a file extension of FBL. Choose the ones that you want to do. Step 4 is completely optional here. You don't have to update the point of interest files if you don't want to. Some people like to do it and others don't. It's completely up to you. But if you like having updated lists of restaurants, hotels, and all that fun stuff, then go ahead, knock yourself out here. The files that you're looking for for this have the extension POI. Now I just wanted to briefly show on my SD card that I have made two folders here, maps and also POI, so they're easier to find when I'm on the Pioneer unit trying to copy everything over. So now that we have our SD card prepped, let's boot it into Windows CE. Let's remove the spacer card that comes in with our units. Get the SD card installed here. And let's hit the reset button. In this example, we're just going to update the state of Connecticut maps. So before we continue, I'm going to back up the existing map just in case something goes wrong. So we do that by going to my device, my flash disk, which is the internal memory, APL2, I go, and content, and map. I'm going to locate the Connecticut map file, which is right over here. I'm going to say edit and cut. Next, 
I'm gonna go back to the very top, go into the SD card, and just paste it at the top level here. So edit, paste. Now, I'm gonna grab my updated map in this nice little folder that I created here. I'm going to locate the Connecticut one, say edit, copy. Go back to the top level, go back into the internal memory of this unit, APL again, or I should say APL2, I go, content, map, and I'm going to do an edit, paste. Now I've successfully copied over the updated map of Connecticut, or I should say maps of Connecticut to this unit. Now, if you want to copy the points of interest, it was actually right next to the map directory that we had here. It's this guy right here. So if you wanted to update those files as well, you would do the same process with your points of interest file, back up this one, copy it to your SD card, grab the newer one and pop it into here. Now that we're done, let's see if our map upgrade worked. Now as you can see, the map update worked. The GPS found our location here, and it actually pinpointed our location on the, the updated map. And there you go, that's how you manually update the maps on your Pioneer unit. As always, if you like what you see here, give this video a nice big thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. It would be greatly appreciated. This is Dan from South Hawk Computing, and as always, until the next time.